In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four uh, success steps uh, infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have created this empty flower pot and then I've changed the background to any blue color uh, background here with a gradient uh, fill. And when I click, it will show you uh, the ladder. It looks like kind of a stem or a branch. And then you can add a person which is climbing and then different a text I have added where it is ambition, dedication, success and power and then you can add some detailed text and then you can add some clouds to look much more uh, meaningful. And if you are not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background. Then I'm going to create one a flower pot. So go to insert, you can go to the shapes and from the basic shapes, you can choose this uh, uh, the trapezoid design and shape outline, make it no outline and then you can uh, flip vertical this one. And then you need to change the color and that will be a time consuming process. Okay, instead you can go and search uh, for the flower pot and you can just download it and use it here so i'm just going to use this particular flower pot which i have downloaded from the internet so i'm not going to use this one and put it exactly in the center you can see here and now again depending on the requirement you can change or increase or decrease the the size of this one all right so let me just put it like this now i'm going to add a kind of a ladder uh, which looks like kind of a stem or the branch of a small tree or plant for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose uh, the curve line you can see here so i'm just going to start from here all right and then just click like this just make it a little curved and again at the top then again i'm going to bring it down you can see here something like this and join this one so i end up getting a shape which looks like this so shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and again if you want you can just reduce the size like this all right then i'm going to right mouse click go to the format shape and i'm going to select the gradient color here so gradient color by default it will be four stops so i'm going to uh, create it so first of all i'm going to use one stop which a uh, darker green color okay you can see here more darker green color and then i'm going to change the direction to the linear right which looks like this and for this one i'm going to make it some light green color you can see here and one more where i can use more lighter if i want and one more stop i'm going to add and i'm going to make it more a darker color here all right again if you want more darker than this you can just go to the more colors and you can increase the shade here all right so i end up getting a shape which looks like this all right so now i'm going to add one more by holding the control shift key just drag this one here and i'm going to just rotate it you can see here flip horizontal and then you can just edit this shape so select the shape right mouse click edit point and sorry let me just do it once again edit point and I can edit the way I want all right so it's just yeah so you can see here if I want a bend like this I can just do that one again if you want you can just increase or decrease the size and then I'm going to give more green all right you can see here something like this all right so now I'm going to add this one and if I want, first of all, I have to just reduce the size to fit this into this one. Okay. And I'm going to show you how we can add the soil on top of that one. To do that one, I'm just going to copy this one. Control C and Control V. You can see here. Then I'm going to insert shapes. And with the help of this free form scribble, I'm just going to select the area with the where there is a soil okay so i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this blue color picture format sorry shape format merge shape and i'm going to make it a intersect 
I end up getting like this and then I can just duplicate this one and I can add it like this here okay so again if you want you can just add one more in the back send this to back all right bring it more down Control D to duplicate and add one more here okay so it looks like it is growing within this spot okay and the same thing you can do it for this one also I can send this to back and select this one reduce the size if you want and put it in the front so like this you can uh, make the help of the soil and then go to insert shapes from the uh, lines again I'm going to choose this one the freeform shape and I'm going to add the steps to the ladder so you can see here and make sure that this is properly joined shape outline no outline I'm going to select this one home format painter and click this here and this direction I'm going to just change the direction like this all right again if you want more darker you can just add more darker to it so you can again check this one again change the way you want you can see here I'm going to make it more darker and this side also I'm going to make it more darker all right it looks like this and then hold the control shift key add four or five steps and then you can just right mouse click edit point okay and then change the way you want you can see here I can make it like this I can just bend it like this you can so for this also right mouse click edit point and I'm going to change the way it looks fit for me all right yeah so like this I'm going to just change for this one also edit point all right and here also this also let me just do it correctly yeah right once this is done I'm going to select this steps and shape format send this to back it looks like this and then to give more realistic feeling I'm going to add one oval shape shape outline no outline shape fill I'm going to give some green color here go to the effects and soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then I'm just going to put it like this control D to duplicate one here some random places you can just put this one all right so you can see here just to give more kind of a bamboo feeling to it all right so like this you can give so our uh, mostly our ladder is ready and then you can add some leaves so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape like this right mouse click edit point and you can see this point just drag this inside like this and this also drag this inside it becomes the uh, color i mean the shape of the leaf and then give some uh, color shape outline make it no outline reduce the size and put it here and rotate a little bit so one or two leaves i'm going to just add it here you can see here press ctrl d increase the size and like this all right so you can just do this particular part and then I'm going to add some clouds to it and if you want before that one if you want to group this one you can group all those things make sure that the soil should not be grouped okay so let me just zoom so I'm just going to remove the soil selection and press ctrl G to group it and bring this soil again to the front all right so you can see here this particular is it's grouped this will help us to do the animation work now I'm going to add the clouds for that go to insert shapes and uh, sorry the pictures and online pictures and I'm going to type here on the online pictures cloud transparent all right so you can see here we have got a different uh, clouds 
I can just choose any cloud I want. If you want to add two clouds, you can add two clouds, click insert and it will you can see here I'm just going to reduce the size and put it here and one more here you can see here and this text you can delete it so the clouds have been added and here I've just taken this particular image where he is uh, just climbing the the ladder I'm just going to add the same thing here you can see all right so now this is done now we can add some uh, steps or the the text to it for that go to insert shapes I'm going to select one rounded rectangle shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice I'm going to add one here and go to insert text box you can add title all right make it bold increase the size and put it here and then i'm going to group this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate add one more here and i'm going to give some different color you can see here and then duplicate this bring this side and make sure that this is right aligned and then give some different color or uh, maybe i'm going to give some purple and control d you can add again some different color maybe a kind of a yellow all right and you can just bring these clouds to the front bring to front so it looks like this is on top of this one all right and then you can add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes again from the lines i'm going to choose the freeform shape here i'm just going to add kind of a shadow effect for this spot all right shape outline make it no outline again i'm going to give gradient fill one gradient fill which i'm going to give as a black and the other one i'm going to give as the same of the background and for this make it fully transparent you can see here and for this also you can make it somewhat transparent and then send this to back so you can see here i've added the shadow effect similarly you can add the shadow effect for this particular uh, the ladder also now once this is done you can go to insert text box and equals lorem within bracket one i don't want this much long text i'm going to delete this reduce the font size and for each option i'm going to place it here press ctrl d ctrl d right aligned and ctrl d for this one so you can see here our design is ready and you can give some simple animations like for example this particular ladder should come so go to the animations enable the animation pane this particular animation which i have added this man for that it is there so i'm going to delete that one so now for this one i'm going to add the animation add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and stretch say from bottom so it comes like this all right and then this one should come maybe a uh, float in like that is coming this should happen after previous and then this options should come again the same add animation stretch click ok and the stretch should happen therefore this two the stretch should happen from left and for this two stretch should happen from right all right so that way you can just add the animations and all those things if i play it comes something like this and then you can add the animation for this text as well as for the clouds